What is up? Welcome to Inside the Line, sponsored by FanDuel. We're going to be breaking down tonight's Knicks games, other games around the league as well. FanDuel, more ways to win. I'm Alex Fast, joined by Jeff Eisenband. Jeff, how you doing? I am excited to be here. I'm ready to go, Alex. You know who is also ready to go is actually R.J. Barrett getting the start at guard tonight for the Knicks. The Celtics have been doing a great job of pushing other teams out into the perimeter, making them take a lot of threes. I think R.J. Barrett's going to be putting up a lot of shots from downtown tonight. How about you? You see this, the Knicks adjust to the last time they played the Celtics, a more defensive outing. The, the starting lineup right now with Frank Nilakina in it, I think that changes things up. That 10.5 point spread, I think if the Knicks can keep it as a defensive game, they can stay within that. And then we can move to the Rockets-Nets game, Alex, which we would talk about the low scoring. This is going to be high scoring. The Rockets averaging 128 points in the season. The Nets averaging 120 <laughs> points. How will that affect this game? Well, I think they should be handing out umbrellas tonight at Barclays because it's going to be raining down threes, mostly in part because of Joe Harris, who's shooting 52% mm. from downtown right now. There's an over-under for him at two and a half on three-pointers, and I am easily taking the over on that. We're going to switch it up to a game that's going to be completely different, and that is the Bucks against the Magic. Right now, the Magic are yet to score 100 points in a game right now. So for me, I'm going to have to take the under on home total points. How are you feeling about this matchup? Well, I mean, you look at this. The Bucks are averaging 117.3 points per game. You mentioned the, Ma the Magic, 93.8. Something's going to give. I think it becomes a more offensive game. I like Evan Fournier over 14 and a half points. He's the Magic's leading scorer, 17.8 points. Someone has to score <laughs> someone, for Orlando. Yeah, someone. All right, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to break down the games going on in the West. They say less is more, but we believe more is more. That's why we build FanDuel Sportsbook with more, more. More ways to bet. More ways to fund your account. More ways to cash in and more ways to cash out. With payouts delivered straight to your bank account in as little as 48 hours. You want more? You got it. Join today and get a risk-free bet worth up to $500. FanDuel Sportsbook. More ways to win. Welcome back to Inside the Lines presented by FanDuel. We're trying to give you more ways to win here. Alex Fast, Jeff Eisenman, teams that have found ways to win. The Mavs and the Lakers, they're going up against each other uh, tonight. Mm -hmm. Three and one each, one and a half point spread in this one. I'm looking at this, the Lakers with the best point differential in the league, plus 11.8, the Mavs, plus 4.0, but the Lakers, since that Clippers game, just on a roll. Yeah, and if you're a Lakers fan, you know, you really got to be excited about Kyle Kuzma making his season debut tonight. He averaged about 19 points per game last year. They're going to be rotating between Kuzma and AD and LeBron, so you really have to like taking the over on away points right now. That's a pretty explosive offense. Now, a team that is uh, facing some struggles ahead, at least. <laughs> sure, uh, the Golden the State Warriors getting the news that Stephen Curry, with that broken hand, probably going to be out at least three months. They were already in some trouble. I expected to wake up and see this line at maybe 12, 13. It's actually at seven. Now, with that said, I think Warrior, the Warriors, this is not the run-and-gun Warriors team we've seen as of late. This is going to be a much more defensive-minded Warriors team. I like the under in points. Yeah, you know, the Spurs may be coming off a of back-to-back, -back, but DeMar Rosen doesn't look like he is because he's just been heating up 26, 27, 29 points in his last three games. The over-under right now on points for him is 20.5, and I'm easily taking the over on that. Let's switch it up to a game that's probably going to be a lot different, which is Utah going up against Sacramento. Utah, of course, one of the best, if not the best defensive teams in the league going up against the Kings or having a little bit of difficulty scoring right now. How are you feeling about this matchup? Yeah, the Jazz only giving up 92.4 points per game. I mean, it, this is not the time for the Kings. They're 0-5 against the spread. We'd like to see them come off the schneid. It's not going to be this game against the Jazz. Also, in terms of you're looking at a prop, I love made threes. Joe Ingles, mm. the over-under set at 1.5. He's averaging 2.2 the season. 2.9 in his career to me. That's easy money right there. Let's go to Dollar Holler. All right. We're giving you an opportunity here. We're saying you put one dollar on this. There is a chance. It, it, it legitimately makes sense in the universe. This could make <laughs> sense despite the odds. Alex, what do you got? You know, for me, it's actually going to be Mike Connolly. He had a slow start to begin the year, but he put up 21 in that last game. I'm going to take 25 points and the Jazz win at plus 980. I think it's actually a pretty good Dollar Holler right there if I do say so myself. That's not bad. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Okay, you've heard of him? I think I've heard of him, yeah. Yeah, pretty good. It's supposed to be uh, good. Him and a, he's a triple-double for Giannis and a Bucks win, plus 1040. He has 14 career triple-doubles, five triple-doubles last season. So this is realistic, I think. Again, that's at plus 
1040 for Giannis. All right, so of course we're not done. Please stick around for Nick's game night, which is actually coming up next. But that's going to do it for us on Inside the Line, sponsored by FanDuel, giving you more ways to win.